Hi guys, just one thing quickly. I'm aware my webcam is in the way for quite a bit of this video. I apologise for that. I was completely unaware. I didn't think about it whilst I was recording. But just so you know, the GitHub, the full repository and solution that I used in this video is available in the description for you to download and clone and open in Visual Studio, do whatever you want with it. Just read the remarks in the GitHub, please. That's all I ask. Um, so yeah, I'm aware that my camera was in the way. I apologise for that. I've tried to kind of screenshot it and overlay it as much as I can. But um, yeah, uh, the, the whole solution is available for download. So hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Thanks guys, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Max. Today I'm going to be showing you how to read from a JSON file in C Sharp. Now this is really, really simple. And um, it's just one of the little programming things that I want to do on my channel and just teach people how to do it because it's really simple. Now C Sharp does have a built-in um, JSON file interaction service. However, it's really, really bad um, and nobody uses it, let's face it. So we use a, pro uh, a library called newtonsoft.json. It's by a Microsoft developer actually. Um, so individually we can't get it. As you can see, if I type in newtonsoft, it's not gonna work. However, if to get it, you have to go to the a nougat library so to do that right click on dependencies manage nougat packages and then it's right at the top here newtonsoft.json it's got a little picture of a rocket just go ahead and hit install and uh, okay to any dialogues that come up cool okay so to actually read from a json file and i just want to show you what i've done so far so this program class just uh, kind of comes up and asks you to type in the name of a json file um, and if it exists, then it will it will send it for um, it will send it for this class to be read. So individually at the moment, now we've in, we've now we've downloaded newtonsoft.json. You can't actually use it yet. So I'm going to add yeah. So using newtonsoft.json, and then we're also going to add using newtonsoft.json.link. It's just an easier way to do it. So second. Secondly, so here's how we actually load the file into the application's memory. So it's pretty simple. Once again, all you have to do is dynamic, dynamic. I can't type. Um, give the file and uh, give the object a name. I'm going to call it JSON file. Why are we? Yeah, okay. Equals JSON convert dot deserialize object. Now you might be tempted to just pass in. Um, uh, JSON file in. You might be just tempted to pass that in. Don't do it. It will crash. It doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't show up an error here, but it will crash. So to do it properly, you're going to want to do file.readAllText JSON file in. So there's your path. That will be the path that is given for ask for JSON name. Okay. Oh, I need an extra bracket there. So that is the file loaded into memory, but you can't actually read it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write to the console uh, first of all, I'm going to write to the console the name of the video. Okay, so today video, that is going to be uh, the first object. That's my JSON file that I'm going to be reading. So um, today's video is, and then, sorry, I just need to add a dollar sign from. Awesome. So I'm going to add JSON file, um, and then it's going to be today underscore video. So that's going to look in the root of the JSON file for an object called today underscore video, and it's going to spit out the value of that C sharp JSON tutorial. So now if I hit F5 and build it and type my file.json, which is the name of the JSON file in the working directory, and hit OK, or hit Enter, sorry, as you can see, today's video is C sharp JSON tutorial, which is what I've got here. So that's perfect. So what about if I wanted to work in this nested class, uh, nested class, nested object, forgive me. So it's vi it's under video information and then it will be under title. Okay, so we can do that very simply by doing console.writeline. Today's video is about, we'll do. Um, and then we'll add JSON file. It's under video underscore information. And then it's under another object called title. Now, all you have to do is just add another one of these uh, strings and close in closing um, square brackets. That's all you have to do to access a thing. So if I were to add uh, a extra info, 
and do that. And then we'll just do info one. Uh, we'll add today's date or add, let's add today's time, 1612 or current time. So now we've done that, all we'd have to do is, uh, sorry, it's under extra info. And then we'd do info one. That's all we'd have to do. And you can link these as long as you want. But uh, for the minute, I'm just going to keep it uh, displaying the title. Um, and that is it for that part. Now, there is another way of doing it, which is why we imported json.link. Okay, so if, if I run this, just to show you this one works, uh, my file.json, as you can see, working with json in C sharp. So, and that's what we've got in the file. So that's correct. So what if there's a, a, an easier way to work within these nested objects and even without them, to be fair, um, and there is. So all you have to do is type in JToken and then we're gonna call it, um, let's say the video title object. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna equal that to the JSON file object dot select token. Now IntelliSense won't actually know how to do this. Don't know why, but uh, it just doesn't. So to select, select token, we need to give it a string. Um, and if I wanted to just do the today video, I would just do today video um, and that would be fine. However, I'm going to be uh, getting the creator, which is my name. So we're going to be doing video underscore information dot creator. And that is how to do it. And then to console, uh, to write that to the console, we'll use that as a string. All we'd then have to do is I'm going to do a video title. And because it's already in a string, you don't need to do it. However, if you were to do it inside of a string, like string creator name equals, and then you're going to want to do video title dot to string. Always cast it to a string. Otherwise, you might encounter an exception. So that is uh, the same goes for the, the creator. And then we'll do the same for the video purpose. I just copied and pasted that line uh, using control D. Uh, you probably should set that up. So, and then we'll just do video uh, information dot purpose. And then we'll once again, duplicate that uh, purpose, we'll do purpose of this video. And then we'll do video purpose. Oh, sorry. Video purpose dot. There you go. So now we're using that, we're printing it out uh, to the console. So if I do my file.json, as you can see, it's going to come up here. Today's video is a C Sharp J tutorial. Today's video is about working with JSON in C Sharp. The creator's name is obviously me. And the purpose of this video is to teach people how to interact with JSON files in their C Sharp code. So as you can see, that's all done. So that is all there is to it. It's reading a JSON file with newtonsoft.json. I'm going to upload this solution to GitHub and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you'd like to see it. But that's all from me. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day and I'll see you later.